hope you're all going really well. So, as you can see, I'm here. <laughs> what a shock, hey? Anyways, I have decided to stream more. If you're in my Discord, you'd know that's the that's decision I made. Which is awesome, I see you guys a bit more. Um, we're going to continue with Dragon Age. I want to... I'm enjoying it again, so I want to kind of finish it. And yeah, we've got elves. Next is dwarves, I think. I think we'll do the dwarves next. Uh, I want to get all the factions together and then maybe do Arl Eamon's quest. I think that's a good way to go. But yeah. Anyways, let's get into it. I do need to open the game first. I didn't do that, so I'll do that first and then I'll switch it over. Yeah, I hope everyone's had a great day. I finished work at about 5, so 5.30 is going to be my streaming time. Just got to figure out what days I want to do it. Yeah. Radio, let's go. <laughs> and on. I do have a bit of a headache today, so if I seem a bit quiet, I'm trying to, you know, not have so much of a headache. The main street's been playing music out front all day, and it's just hurting my head. <laughs> if it's too loud, let me know. I have headphones on this time too, so it won't impact like you guys. I finally charged them. I'm just gonna fix something. Give me two secs. Um, I'm just gonna make one part a little bit tinier. Sorry, I shouldn't be too long. I think that's all of it. There we go. That should be a bit better. I feel like that was too big to begin with. Radio, let's go. Dwarf time. I haven't done the dwarf quest before. I haven't really finished this game. I usually do like Arl Eamon and then I'll go on to do... No, I usually stop at Arl Eamon <laughs> and then get bored. <laughs> okay. So, we've accomplished the daily of Dalish Elves. Ooh, we can get a golem. Do you guys want to do that quest? I think that might be a bit fun. The golem in Honleith. I think we'll go do that. We'll do these um, side quests. And then we'll... um continue the bike but I do have to do these ones as well so um let's go get a golem because we can add them to our team and then we'll continue because the golem's pretty cool he's a little bit of a tank okay Honley this is where we need to go Fight scene. Oh, oh I know God. what happens here. We need help. They attack the wagon. Please help us. Follow me. I'll take you to them. I know what's about to happen here. The assassin. We saw the cutscene last time. Uh, 
That's okay, we'll win this. You can come on our team. Oh no, <laughs> I got in a trap. Yes, yes, no mercy. Oh, another bloody trap. Really? They're not making it easy for me, are they? Gail Eliana, legend. <laughs> Morrigan's a beast. I'm just gonna let her finish it off. Look at her go. How do you wake up dead? <laughs> but I see you haven't killed me yet. Oh, so you kept me around to have a bit of fun. <laughs> hmm. But the purpose behind torture is usually to interrogate, yes? In that case, despite the potential for fun, perhaps I'll save you a bit of time and get right to the point. We know who did my it. My name is Zebra. Zeb to my friend. I am a member of the Antiven Crows, brought here for the sole purpose of slaying any surviving Grey Wardens, which I have failed at, sadly. Okay, well, I'll get all the backstory and then we'll continue on. I can tell you that. They are an order of assassins out of Antiva, very powerful and renowned for always getting the job done, so to speak. Someone went to great expense to hire this man. Quite right. I'm surprised you haven't heard much of the crows out here. Back where I come from, we're rather infamous. Not precisely. I was in the neighborhood when the offer came. The crows get around, you see. A rather taciturn fellow in the capital. Logan, I think his name was. Yes, that's it. I wasn't. If I had succeeded, I would have returned home and the crows would have informed your Loghain of the results. If he didn't already know. If <laughs> hey, T, you know you're doing. Dead, or I should be, at least, as far as the crows are concerned. No need to see Loghain then. Okay, let me fix something because that came through my computer instead of my actual headphones. Sound alerts. <laughs> hey? I know, right? It'd be terrible if someone heard that. <laughs> Mind you, there's people staying up here where I live, so good on you. <laughs> okay, let's hope. Hopefully, that fixes it. <laughs> How are you, too? I have no idea what his issues are with you. The usual, I imagine. You threatened his power, yes? Beyond that, no, I am not loyal to him. I was contracted to perform a service. Okay, well, let me just fix this again. Because it's covering the subtitles. Okay. 
just bring it down a little bit. That should fix it. Yeah, there we go. That's better. I wasn't fed anything. The crows, however, were fed quite handsomely, or so I understand. Which does make me about as cool as a chunky mouse, come to think of it. Being an Antivan crow isn't for the ambitious, to be perfectly honest. <laughs> Why not? I wasn't paid for silence. Not that I offered it for sale, precisely. Oh, that's sweet. I have a bit of a headache, so I'm kind of just... I'm here, but I'm trying to not be too loud so my head doesn't pound. But yeah. Consider it something I'm throwing in for free. As it is, if you're done with the interrogation... I, I have no painkillers either. So I'm kind of just sitting here. Well, here's the thing. I failed to kill you, so my life is forfeit. That's how it works. If you don't kill me, the crows will. Thing is, I like living. And you obviously are the sort to give the crows pause. So, let me serve you instead. This is the fruity elf. They go for both genders, if you're wondering. Oh, sorry, both genders. Uh, they go for any gender. Um, it's more, um, where I live, they've got music playing in the main street. And it's a lot of noise. But that's, that's all. To be completely honest, I was never given much of a choice regarding joining the Crows. They bought me on the slave market when I was a child. I think I paid my worth back to them plus tenfold. The only way out, however, is to sign up with someone they can't touch. Even if I did kill you now, they might just kill me on principle for failing the first time. Honestly, I'd rather take my chances with you. Yeah, no, I should be right. Should be good. What? You're taking the assassin with us yep. now? Does that really seem like a good idea? <laughs> yes. We could apparently use a swift kick in the head too. We don't seem to be going around asking for one. A fine plan. But I would examine your food and drink far more closely from now on. Morgan, I was scared you were going to poison me first. Welcome, Zivan. Having an Antivan crow join us sounds like a fine plan. Oh, you are another companion to be then? I wasn't aware such loveliness existed amongst adventurers, surely. Yeah, I do. I hereby pledge my oath of loyalty to you until such a time as you choose to release me from it. I am your man, without reservation. This I swear. Yay, we now have another rogue for our team. Who do you want to bring along to? Do you, I know you probably say Morrigan and Alistair. Oh. Yes. But we can have Liliana, Zevran, Sten, or Kippa. Your choice. They all end up fighting with us in the end, but you can choose who we have on our actual Hello team. Hello there. Winter! Hi! Let's have a tank. You want Sten? Okay. Yes. He's he's quite quite rude, but I'll add him. That's cool. All right, we have a team. All right, I'm just gonna get all the. Alistair disapproves minus ten. Fire out! We worked so hard to get all that before. Um, you can keep your letter. Take that. We're just going to loot and then I'll continue on. I'm doing the side quest first. So we should be able to get the big golem. And then we can have an actual tank. One that's not going to back talk. Um, bodies. Yeah, perfect. Well, it's because we accepted Z um, Zevron into the team. Alistair wasn't too happy. As you say. 
Very well. Yeah, it went minus 10, so we lost a fair bit of relationship with him. But that's okay. Um, Zevron's an assassin that was hired to um, kill us. And because he failed, he was either going to die by the assassin group that he was with or we could kill him or do what we wanted with him. So he's now on the team. Yeah, he's a bisexual elf. Oh, really, Winter? Fair enough. He's pretty cool. I like his accent, too. Sten. Yeah. Sten's a good guy, though. He was just locked up by the Chantry or something, like. So I'm not sure if you call him good exactly, but he's all right. He's just kind of rude. They, they're all kind of set in their ways, if I'm completely honest. Yeah. Um, once I've done this quest, I'll go and talk to everyone at camp so you can hear how they all speak. Leliana has a pretty nice accent as well. They've all got pretty cool accents. Oh, Sven's like hand-to-hand -hand combat. <laughs> I should give him a weapon. No worries, Enter. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you. My accent goes all right. <laughs> it's pretty dry, if I'm completely honest. All right, let me put some weapons on Sven. Yeah, because he's got nothing. Poor bugger. <laughs> and I don't have anything for him. Well, that's great. Okay, Sven, you're hand-to-handing it. What do you wish of me? Nothing. I didn't click on you. I think once we get another mage, I'll take Morrigan off the team. <laughs> She's cool, but there's a better mage. One that can heal, so it's better to have a health. Someone who can heal on the team. In my opinion, health is great. And that way not everyone's not using my health poultices. Where are you at? There you are. These guys aren't so hard compared to other things we've got, which is really nice. Den is a tank. He's got no weapons and he's still thrashing them. Yeah. That's fair. I have issues with Morrigan. I'm not, I'm not her biggest fan. I didn't talk to you. I want the sparklies, please. There's our golem, by the way. Named Shale. He's cool. I shall do it. Very well. 
Watch Lord Spirit Crystal when I think this. It shall be done. It is begun. Oh, do you remember the person I raided um, on some, uh, the last stream? Well, yeah. Um, a bloodied bronze key. Okay, what's that open? Um, he did. He was doing the Magi quest, so we can either do dwarves or the mages. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of them, but but this is our golem. Isn't he cool? What we are looking at is a golem. Would appear it is defunct, though there may be a way to revive it yet. Okay, so that didn't work, um, but we need to go that way, but yeah we can do that quest that um, they were doing or we can do the, um, yeah dwarves are pretty cool, oh we don't have Liliana, Liliana's got the lock picking, blast, oh well. That's fine. Um, combat tactics. Lens area. Never mind. We just can't do any, open any chests. Which is okay. Yeah, so I'll do dwarves. I'll, pro I'll do two of the big quests today. I'll do dwarves and then I'll do the magi. Or the mages, whatever you want to call them. That's cool. Oh, I know what's down here. I remember this. I've done this quest a few times. Miss me! We do have a pretty sick team though. Not gonna lie. Being a mage is pretty cool, but I prefer to wield a weapon than a, um... Than a, um, a staff. Take off. Take it It's collecting everything. Ooh, we nearly leveled up too, so our experience is down here. So we're, we're nearly we're nearly full, which is cool. Did I look at this one? Yeah. What about that? No. Okay. One word. Which is... This way. Wait, what'd that say? Wilhelm's special brew. This dark colored ale gives off a thick oaky smell. Swirling it in the tankard, you notice it t take on an unexpected glow. Ooh, okay. I'll take that, thank you. This is a brewery. I feel like I'm at work. <laughs> Just joking. It's been a while since I've done this one. It's been a while since I've played this game, if I'm completely honest. Eh. 
anything but the brewery yet. <laughs> I'd like to keep my sanity. <laughs> I don't need work in my games. Well, we know why the village is barren. Look, they're all in there. Have you all eaten? A glowing crystal, what do you got? Nah. You can keep that sort of stuff. Ooh, you don't want to fall down there. That looks painful. Okay, I'm meant to press something, aren't I? To open that. I'm just not sure what it is. By the maker, we're saved. You weren't sent by the band, were you? Nope. To save us. So we could have just starved down here? The band gave up on us? <laughs> I suppose I should be grateful that someone came at all. I had KFC. Thank you. I've but had dinner. I'm all good. Sent by someone. Why are you here? If you don't mind me asking. statue outside why would uh, I think I see you bought the control rod didn't you You've yeah been here looking for shale don't get cranky I didn't even know you guys were locked up in here it's no need to be rude he has cool hair I'd be wary too, don't worry. That damnable golem brought us nothing but trouble. Yeah. My mother sold the rod years ago Kentucky after it killed fried. my father and good riddance. How should I know? It must be. My father was its master and it still killed him. Surely that's not normal behavior. My good old Colonel. Will Mage to the Isles of Redcliffe and a hero in the war against Orlay. And what did he get? One Death. day, my mother found him outside the tower with so many broken bones she could barely recognize him. And Shale standing over him just like it is now. My father deserved better than that. But if you really want to wake Shale up, well, it's yours now. Well, obviously. My mother might have passed along the wrong command phrase when she sold the rod. She said she never wanted to see Shale active again. Look, I'll tell you the command phrase, but I'll need your help first. I know you already saved my life, and I'm grateful, but my daughter yeah. is inside the laboratory. You get to see a cool demon in a second. And ran too far in before I could stop her. I don't know how she made it past my father's defenses. One of the men tried to go after her. He was killed, but you could find her, couldn't you? Don't, it's true. I'm terrified that something's happened to her and she's lying in there. It's injured. a succubus. I can't leave here until I know for certain. Surely you can understand that. You're a lust demon. You will thank the maker. As they're called My in this game. Laboratory is just past the next area, I think. I think it's she a lust demon. There. We'll see in a minute. They look pretty cool. They're kind of similar. <laughs> Maybe. Oh no, spideys! Ew. There's a lot of elf root, uh, death root, and elf root in here though. That's pretty cool. I don't know, maybe. I know the Maccas isn't very different, um, depending on what you get. Um, because I visited Japan, and when I was there, I had um, I had macas the first day because we wanted something um that wasn't too different. We had macas. Yeah, <laughs> true. 
Look at the dust wraith, he's cursed. What have you got? Illyrium Harvest Festival Ring. Okay, I'll take them. Cool, cool. And Morrigan level up. Let's go with your bottom ones. Ooh, potion making. Arcane bolt. That might be good. Yeah, maybe. I know a lot of the items on the McDonald's menu was very different to the one in Australia. But, um... It still tasted the same. There wasn't, there wasn't much difference at all. I shall do it. <laughs> Are you ready? Someone's come to play. You have come to play, haven't you? We're playing a guessing game. It's Stay better with, with more me. people. Father? Yeah. Oh, you can tell him I'm fine. Maybe he'll come and stay with us too. Anyway, you should go if you're not going to play. Kitty finds you distracting. Play with me. I can't go. Kitty says she can't come, and I'm not leaving her. She'd be lonely. You are so kind, Amalia. I would miss you dearly if you left. <laughs> of course she's a cat. No, it's she not. Talks, that's all. It's not a cat. It's simple enough, once you know how. I am a cat, really. No, you're Nothing not. You say will convince Amalia to go with you. She loves only me now. I am her friend, while you are just a stranger. This cat's the creepiest thing here. The kid's not so bad. Oh, did you hear that, Amalia? I have another admirer. That's because you're wonderful, Kitty. I have been bound to this chamber for decades, cut off from all contact. It has been maddening. Release me, mortal, and let me have the girl. Let us return to her father and leave this place forever. Mortals often allow themselves to be blinded by hope. They see what they wish to it's see. a ginger cat too. They've got the weirdest personalities. His Amalia alive and unharmed. Perhaps he will. No. I can hear it in your voice. You lie. You mean to deceive me. I will not allow it. No, Kitty! You will not take the child from me. She shall be mine forever. Here we go. <laughs> now the kid's creepy. <laughs> yeah. There you go. There's your demon. Called Kitty. What a name. Do you think she's a Discord kitty? It's not very difficult to beat. Nice. Helm of Honleith. Ooh, I'll take all that. That looks like it could be good stuff. Okay, the girl's dead now though. I'm pretty sure the girl's gone. Poor child.
You'd think fighting a demon would be the hardest thing. Because they're not really helpful. Good job. I love how Alistair and Sten was just standing him back there, not helping at all. What happened to her? Is she in there? Why hasn't she come back? She's dead. Oh, my poor puzzle. Thank you for finding her, at least. I'm grateful. The phrase to activate shale is duel and hard. If you still want that bloody thing, I wouldn't if I were you. Yeah, I want it. Now it's coming with me. I'll go. Bye. Sorry about you, kid. It was for the greater good. Okay, who's injured? Coughing blood. Okay. Well, you can have an injury kit. Morrigan, you're fine. And you're fine. I think Alistair has a pretty bad illness because he's always getting crook. He's had that cough up blood a few times. That's not actual lore, I'm just saying. Yeah. Although, depends on the kind of demon. So that one that we saw then was a lust demon. So they usually feed on desires and stuff. So it really depends on what kind of demon it is. That's my thinking anyways. But I agree, they shouldn't make him look so good. Have you seen the show Groom? Why is there a picnic basket? Someone would find the control rod. And not even a mage this time. Probably stumbled across the rod by accident, I suppose. Typical. I stood here in this spot and watched the wretched little villagers scurry around me for oh, <laughs> I have no idea how long. Many, many. Years. He's got a cool voice. He has a really cool voice. That you wouldn't be grateful to the one who allowed you to stretch your legs, Gollum. Hmm. Another mage, I see. Charming. <sighs> I was just beginning to get used to the quiet, too. Tell me, are all the villagers dead? No, they're not. Some got away, then. How unfortunate. Familiarity breeds contempt, as they say, and after 30 years as a captive audience, I was as familiar with these villagers as one could possibly be. <laughs> Not that I wish their fate on them, no. But it did make for a delightful change of pace. Perhaps I may have forgotten after all the years of being called Gollum. Poor thing. Gollum, fetch me that chair. Do be a good Gollum and squash that insipid bandit. And let's not forget... Gollum, pick me up. I tire of walking. Oh, the poor thing. It does have the control rod, doesn't it? I am awake, so it must. I see the control rod, yet I feel... Go on, order me to do something. It, it won't work, I bet. Fine, attack Alistair. <laughs> 
I don't think that's a good idea. And, uh, nothing. I feel nothing. I feel no compulsion to carry out its command. I suppose this means the rod is broken? Yes. I suppose if I can be commanded, this means I have free will, yes? Yes. It is simply, what should I do? I have no memories beyond watching this village for so long. I have no purpose. I find myself at a bit of a loss. What about it? It must have awoken me for some reason. But I'm not an it. What did it intend to do with me? I see. Wonderful. I suppose I have two options, do I not? Go with it or go elsewhere? I do not even know what lies beyond this village. Are you going to keep calling yes, me it? Very likely. <laughs> I watched this village for so long, unable to move or act. My memories of anything before are vague at best. So I have no idea what I want to do. I'm glad to be mobile. Is that not enough? Are you certain you want to bring that thing with us? It could be dangerous. Alistar, you forget we need all the help we can get. Good point. Better it than me, anyhow. I will follow it about then, for now. I am called Shale, by the way. This should be interesting. Yes, should. Okay, now we have the big Shale. I'm gonna take... Wait, warrior... Warrior. Okay, we have three warriors on the team. Vashadun. Um... I wanna have another rogue back on the team. So, I either want Zevran or Leliana, but Shale's cool. I'm keeping Alistair on the team because I like Alistair. He's cool. So, who do you want? Leliana or the... Zevran? Your choice. Kipper's a war dog, so Kipper won't come with us. I'm just saying. I would like a rogue for the lock picking skill. If I made myself a rogue, then it'd be a bit different. I wouldn't have to rely on other rogues, but... Yeah, no. Liliana? Indeed. So that's what she sounds like, and then that's... Yes. Zevron. Hey, there you are! How are you? Indeed. I'm very good, thanks. We're continuing with Dragon Age, if you were wondering. See, Alistair keeps disapproving. Stop it. All right, let's 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 move on. That's good, that's good. Yeah, we're gonna finish Dragon Age. Not, not all of it today, but we're gonna get a fair bit of it done. There's two more games after this one too, which I haven't played, so it'll be completely new a completely new experience. Which would be really good. Wait, how do I get out of here? Is it this way? Yeah. This looks familiar. Hanging bodies, yep, this seems right. Okay, let's go to camp. And we'll talk to some people. And then we'll go get the dwarves. It, it, um, it was either dwarves or mages. And I thought dwarves might be a bit of fun for this one. I don't understand. You look like a woman. You don't want to build my friendship anymore. Fine then. See ya. <laughs> you are a great warden. So it follows that you can't be a woman. This is why I don't like Sten. Understand my confusion then. 
Women are priests, artisans, shopkeepers, or farmers. They don't fight. Fuck you too, mate. Fuck you too. Why would women ever wish to be men? That makes no sense. Do they also wish to live on the moon? That's as attainable. One of those things can't be true. A person is born, Gunari or human or elven or dwarf. He doesn't choose that. The size of his hands, whether he is clever or foolish, the land he comes from, the color of his hair, these are beyond his control. We do not choose, we simply are. But you can choose what you do with your life. Can they? We'll see. Oh, I actually got approval for that. Nice. Okay, so there's Shale. Morrigan sits over there somewhere. I think if I get closer, we'll be able to see her. Yep, she's there. You got Leliana, Zevron, and Alistair and Kipper there. You've got the elven um, emissary, and then the dwarves. So. Let's talk to Morrigan. We'll have a conversation with Morrigan. What do you wish of me? I just want to talk. We are in camp, so tis as good a time as any. <laughs> Why are you still here? Never mind. <laughs> what do you wish of me? If you must. Um. What do you want to know out of these four options? What would you like to know? So I've already pretty much asked her about the shape changes, so we can't do that. So it's really these three. Because I'm not a mage, I can't learn to become a shape changer. Four? Is Flemeth really what she seems to be? Okay. <laughs> well, that depends, does it not? What does she seem to be? A nutty old bat. <laughs> um, a powerful Malefica. You mean, is she truly the Flemeth of legend and story? Yeah. Tell me, how much do you know of the tale? The one that the Chastens still tell of my mother, to frighten them into obedience. Ah, I see. That does explain much. I can relay what Flemeth once told me herself, and you can decide whether or not tis the truth, if you desire. As the tale is sung by the bards, there was a time when Flemeth... Lelian is also a bard too, so it's pretty cool. A fair lass in the land of barbarian men, the desire of any who saw her. Many centuries before this land was even named Ferelden, the tales say that Flemeth fell in love with Osin the Bard and fled the castle of her husband, the dreadlord Conobar, and that he swore vengeance for her infidelity. In truth, my mother claims that twas Osin who was her husband, and Conobar the jealous lord who looked on from afar. Lord Ooh. Conobar approached young Osin and offered him wealth and power in exchange for his lovely wife. Tales and of the heart, hey? Agreed. The life of a bard is a poor one, and love fades in the wake of hunger. It was Flemeth who suggested the arrangement. All would have been well had Lord Conobar kept his end of the bargain. But he was a foul man who bargained with coin he did not possess. Osen was led off to a field and slain. It's always either the dead. romance, the and money, and swore drugs, revenge. sex, all that kind of stuff. That was not the point. Conobar had no honor. So she would not have him. Flemeth begged the spirits to aid her, 
and twas they who slew Conobar. The demon the legend tells of came later. Lord what demon? Conobar's allies chased Flemeth, you see. Chased her to the wilds, and there she hid. There she found the demon, and he made her strong. The legends all speak of the great hero Cormac. He who defeated Flemeth and her great army when she invaded the lowlands centuries later. All lies. Hmm. The truth of the matter is that there was never an invasion. As Flemeth tells it, the Chastened never raised an army under her banner and she never fought with any warrior named Cormac. Cormac led a brutal civil war against his own people, and later claimed it was to vanquish evil that had taken root amongst the lords. Thus, he was hailed a hero. Flemeth was only attached to the legend much later. Perhaps it was due to the great war with the Chastened that eventually came, but Mother claims not to know how it began. <laughs> There's always another side to a hero's story. Never believe the first one. You ask if I have sisters. I have asked of this myself. The stories tell of many witches of the wilds after all, not just the one. And these tales existed long before I did. Flemeth refuses to speak of other daughters, if they existed. So should I believe I am her first? I doubt that too. Considering what we learned earlier from Morrigan with her mother, that they had to lure men into their beds, I doubt she's the only daughter. Flemeth tells it with far more embellishment than I, but you are welcome. Dare I ask of your own mother? Few are abominations of legend, it is true, but I find myself curious nevertheless. Oh, then you have my sympathies for what it is worth. Which is very little, I am certain. It matters not. Let us move on. Okay, bye Morrigan. Oh, five plus five approval. That's good. That's real good. Let's talk to Shale. I'm gonna talk to all of them, and then I'll oh. move on. Oh, that! Merely reflecting on the hopeless nature of the task in front of it. The most likely outcome is that it and its companions will become a stain on some rock. For the dark spawn to tread upon. I shall be moved to a single tear by the tragedy. <laughs> I love Shale. <laughs> it's true. One single tear. And then it's off to the north, I think. Or maybe west. I haven't decided. What's that? Did it hear flapping wings? There may be pigeons nearby. We should be alert. Oh, he doesn't like birds because of the um the villagers, because they used to scatter bird seed around him. They probably shit on him a lot too. He's got a cool design though, look at him. I don't want to talk to Sten, I don't like Sten. We talked to him at the start anyways. Let's talk to Leliana. when my mother died and this wise elven woman comforted me and told me that we shouldn't fear death or hate it death is just another beginning one day we must all <laughs> yeah and i right freaking birds to fly. spiders suck too it's a beautiful sentiment i think one that brings peace and hope to the grieving Oh, she's going to sing now, isn't she? Feels like it. What do you reckon? Wow. Okay. No wonder she's a bard.
time ago, a girl child was born to a farmer. He had hoped for a son, not a daughter, and so he told his wife to abandon the child in the woods. Before the cold could claim her, the baby was found by a tribe of Dalish elves who took pity on the poor mewling thing and raised her as their own. Aveline, for that is what they called her, grew strong and quick and clever under the guidance of the elves. She learned to wield the sword as well as any man could kill a deer with an arrow at a hundred paces and was as graceful on the back of a horse as she was on foot. I like these stories. These are cool. I could just listen to someone tell stories for ages, so long as they're like, they have a good voice. Aveline's That's why I like audiobooks. So that she could easily best any Elysian chevalier in battle, and wanted to show the cruel humans the child they had left to die. They bestowed upon her a fine horse and armor, and sent her to prove herself to her people in the Grand Tourney. Now in those days, no woman was allowed to take up arms, let alone compete in the Grand Tourney. But Aveline kept her helmet on and was not discovered. Aveline won many events and gained the approval of the adoring crowd. Eventually, she came face to face with the knight Kaleva in the Grand Melee. Aveline had already bested him in the joust, and Kaleva was determined not to lose a second time. Out of desperation to regain his honor, Kaleva tripped Aveline and tossed her to the ground ripping off her helmet as he did so. Silence fell upon the arena as Aveline was revealed. Kaleva declared the previous competitions invalid. A woman had taken part and this was not allowed. But the crowd cheered for Aveline. Kaleva was furious for he had lost to a woman and was now being shamed. Blinded by his rage, he forced Aveline to her knees. Know your place, woman, cried he, and <gasps> slit her throat. Wow! The son of the king, Prince Freyan, was present. He recognized Aveline's skill and bravery and began to see the injustice done to the women in his land. When he was made king, he rewrote the laws of Ole so that women could also become chevalier. He honored Aveline and knighted her after her death. And to this day, any female who is knighted reveres Aveline the Brave, for she is the patron of all women chevalier. That's a really cool story. All right, I'm, I'm done now. I liked that. Okay, we've spoken to Liliana, so let's speak to Zevran now. Here I am. Uh, something personal. Oh, what would you like to discuss? I want you to leave. Never mind. <laughs> Here I am. Oh, this should be good. Go ahead. Okay, one, two, three, or four. You choose. It's up to you, my friends. I gotta talk to Kipper too. Don't let me forget the dog. Let's go Antiva. We'll, we'll talk about Antiva. You wish to know about Antiva, do you? The only way to truly appreciate it would be to go there. It is a warm place, not cold and harsh like this for Elden. In Antiva it rains often, but the flowers are always in bloom. Or so the same goes. No, four. Okay, I'll, I'll do four after this. Sorry. <laughs> I think my chat might be delayed. It's not really a matter of wanting to go back. I cannot go. At least not yet. I hail from the glorious Antiva city. Home to the royal palace. It is a glittering gem amidst the sand. My Antiva city. You come from someplace comfortable. I've never seen that place. I am sure it has its charms and its dogs. <laughs> Are you making fun of my puppy? Hmm. You know what is most odd? 
We speak of my homeland, and for all its wine and its dark-haired beauties and the lilo flutes of the minstrels, I miss the nether the most. Ooh, I have a gift for him then. <laughs> Is that a euphemism? For something else? I grew accustomed to the stench, even though the humans complained of it constantly. To this day, the smell of fresh leather is what reminds me most of home, more than anything else. <laughs> oh, not so long, I know. It is my first time away from Antiva, however, and the thought of never returning makes me think of it constantly. Before I left, I was tempted to spend what little coin I possessed on leather boots I spotted in the store window. The finest Antivan leather. Perfect craftsmanship. Ah, but I was a fool to leave them. I thought, ah, Zevran, you can buy them when you return as a reward for a job well done. More the fool I, no? <laughs> I asked you about Antiva, not your leather fetish. <laughs> It's a comforting thought. One simply never knows what is to come next. How could I have suspected I would end up defeated by a beautiful grey warden? A woman who then spared my life. I could not. <laughs> uh, yeah, he's a big flirt, this, this dude. True. Should I not? No, by all means, go ahead. I'm glad I am to hear it. It's all the same to you. I would prefer not to speak more of Antiba. It makes me wistful and hungry for a proper meal. Okay, cool. Oh, that's plus four. That's really good. Um, let's talk to the poppy. <laughs> oh, look at them. <gasps> we can pet the dog. Can I pet the dog? I can pet the dog. <laughs> look at it. Okay. Yes. That was beautiful. That was worth it. <laughs> that is the end of the game. I don't care what anyone what says. Need? Ask away. Such as they are. About I the can't. wardens, anyhow. Fair enough. What do you need? We can't really talk to Alistair about um anything else. Dang it. That's okay. Oh, we leveled up. When did this happen? Let's combat training. What is that? Threaten? No. Peace. Precise. Flurry. Requires 18 dexterity. Improved contact. The character lashes out with a flurry of three blows, dealing normal combat damage with each hit. So it's just a three for one. But wait, what's what's the other stuff first? Hang on. I don't use a shield two-handed. I haven't been able to use any of these. That's because I'm dual weapons, not... Never mind, makes sense. All good, ignore me. I know what I did wrong. Let me just take these off. Because we're using dual weapons, not a double handed weapon. So, what have we got? So, we've got that dual striking. Is that on there? Yep. Riposte is on there. Finesse. Yeah, he really likes leather. Alright, I think we'll head off. I don't know why, but it feels like chat's lagging a little bit. Let me just um, refresh it. I 
don't know. It kind of feels um, a bit... To me, it feels a bit Spanish. Or Mexican. Okay. Um... Who do we want to take along? So, Morrigan's definitely coming because they're the only mage. We've got Stan, Alistair, or Shale as our warriors. And then Leliana and Zevran as our rogues. So you may choose. We can have two rogues or we can have two warriors. Mm. Ayla, what do you reckon? Hey, Looney. Did you have a good sleep? Okay. Two rogues, Rado. Yes. Severin and Liliana. That's cool, because I'll get to give um, Severin his Dalish gloves. Okay. Where am I headed to? That's... I don't need to go there. We did that. That's the daily shelves done. What's this one? Don't want to go to Denerim yet. Frostback Mountains. <laughs> Let me just check. <laughs> no, that's alright. Um, the Blight. Paragon of Her Kind. Deep underground. To, uh, yeah, so. That's what I want to do, but I'm not sure where I'm supposed to go. So, that and two rogues. So, I want to go to. I think I might be here. Although. No, that's the Magi, Magi Tower. Red Cliff. I think it's this one. Oh dear. Anything in yellow is premium content, so they're like the little side quests you get for downloading all the DLC. Is it this way? That I don't know if that's a trap or if that's trap right ahead. Where? Ah there. That's fine. We can miss it. Just don't turn around, mate. We'll, we won't have we won't have issues. Yes, I didn't have to fight anyone. That's a first. I like those ones. Are you cranky? Look at me like that. Rude. Anyways, I'll be right back. I just gotta duck out for a quick sec.
switch screens. I'm back. Hello. <laughs> Sorry about that. Alright, let's get back into it. I'm guessing this is the right way. Ooh, death root. I don't know what we do with death root. Thank you. But I've just been picking it up. Because I don't do poisons or anything. These aren't dwarves. Our bounty hunter. Oh, you son of a bitch! Logan is getting pretty impatient, isn't he? First bounty hunters we've seen, at least. Okay, the music can stop now. I'm gonna just give a gift real quick because I already know who it can go to. If we go down here, the Dalish gloves. No, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> how do I give a gift? Oh, I know how to do it. Uh, you don't have an injury. Gloves? You're giving me gloves? What for? I did not mean to sound ungrateful. It is just a... wait. These are Danish. Yes. Are they not? My mother was Danish, and had a pair very similar to these. The leather was less thick, and it had more embroidery, but these are very close, and quite handsome. You can have them. Do I seem surprised? Perhaps I am. Still, I appreciate the fact that you even thought of me. No one has simply given me a gift before. Thank you. You're welcome. What other gifts do I have? Hang on. I know I've got a bunch down here. I'm just not sure who I'm supposed to give what to. I feel like that's a Morrigan gift. Yeah, I, that, I feel like that's his accent as well. I feel like the Onyx Demon statuette is a Morrigan gift, so let me see if that does anything. Again. Shut up. Don't be so rude. I'm giving you a gift. A fine gift. You oh, a plus one. Ah, that's how you see. Okay. Hang on, let me check the others. Neutral. Neutral. I have the best relationship with Leliana. Hello, elves? Or dwarves? Not elves? Sorry. Why are there people there? Are they elves?
Yeah, it's some kind of Latin um, accent that Zevran has. This land is held in trust for the sovereign dwarven kings. I cannot allow entry at this time. King Loghain demands the allegiance of the Desher, or lords, or whatever you call them in your assembly. I am his appointed messenger. You ain't getting him. I don't em. care if you're the king's wiper. Orzammar will have none but its own until our throne is settled. None more important than mine. Your business will wait. Orzammar must limit outside influence until the throne is settled. No one gets in. Who doesn't? If I don't get in, no one should. Orzammar has no kings. Endrin Iduken returned to the stone not three weeks ago, sick over the loss of his son. The assembly has gone through a dozen votes without agreeing on a successor. If it is not settled soon, we risk the civil war. Wardens killed King Kaelin and nearly doomed Ferelden. They're sworn enemies of King Loghain. Well, that is the royal seal. That means only the assembly is authorized to address it. Grey Warden, you may pass. Huh. You're letting in a traitor? And a foreigner? In the name of King Loghain, I demand that you execute this stain on the honor of Ferelden. What? Lies and slander! King Loghain will not suffer this. I will not suffer it. I'm his messenger. Kill each other as you will. But take your sodding fight off my doorstep. I did say I was going to stream a bit more. Sorry if I scared just... I just thought it would be, um... You know, a nice surprise for some people. I mean, I can keep it to weekends if you'd like. It doesn't bother me much. I'm completely honest. Okay, I don't think I needed to change into a spider. <laughs> that, 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 that was a waste. <laughs> no worries then. I'm not going to stream for much longer if I'm honest. My head is pounding a fair bit. I'll probably go for another half hour. And then I'll go get some dinner or something. You've done me a service. That fool Imrek was barking for a week. Are all humans so touched? You are free to enter Orzammar, Grey Warden. So I don't know what help you will find. A draft file award. If there is the anything is complimentary to be said about these people, is that they possess a remarkable facility for carving stone. Is that all you wanted to say, Morrigan? Just comment on their stonework. If you were carved like Blanca, all Orzammar will name your name. Mother, I don't want to be like her. Don't say that. Get back to the fort. I want to see more details. Oof, harsh. I'm wondering, Morgan, do you believe in the Maker? Certainly not. I've no primitive fear of the moon, such that I must place my faith in tales so that I may sleep at night. That'd be pretty cool. But this can't all be an accident. Spirit, magic, all these wondrous things around us, both dark and light. You know these things exist. The fact of their existence does not presuppose an intelligent design by some absentee father figure. So it is all random then. 
a happy coincidence that we are all here. Attempting to impose order over chaos is futile. Nature is, by its very nature, chaotic. <laughs> I don't believe that. I believe we have a purpose. All of us. Yours, apparently, being to bother me. Yeah, she she does talk to Morgan a fair bit. They've talked about a shopping trip, about Morrigan's history, and now whether she has a belief. <laughs> it is the assembly who makes a king, and a king who nominates his successor. None of it is carried in the blood, or as now, someone tries using the assembly to pull a coup. Who's to say what my father said in his final hours when the usurper Haramon was the only one by his side? I'll have you thrown in prison. You've bitten off more than you can chew. Hamlet, separate these dashers in the diamond quarter. Not have Balin in sight of riot. Not speak that way about the man who should be king! Damn! Straight through! Cut him in half. Okay, who am I meant to talk to? Let's have a look. Ah, oh, there's a few quests here. But am I supposed to go through these? Yeah, that was... Uh, so that's what you want on the team, hey? Seek out Stuart. The Diamond Quarter. So, where is that? That is Dust Town, Tapster's Tavern. All the heroes, Diamond Quarter, over that way. Now let me see if I'm looking the right way. Yep. It is down here somewhere. Chicken. Oh, that sounds really good. I've already had chicken though. Uh, in a moment. I just need to do this. I say we'll do the main quest and I'll leave the side quest for another day. Just today. Alright, off we go. I ain't offering assistance to anyone. I need your assistance. Grey Warden arrives in Orzammar, most likely to pay respects to the rightful king, Prince Balin. Politics. I ain't interested. I love how this is just like a massive circle. I require a moment of time to take in this magnificent There was silence, you just broke it. <laughs> it's at the diamond quarter. But where in the diamond quarter? Addressing the, ah. Never mind, figured it out. I need to go here. This big door right here. Very well. 
I wouldn't want to fall into one of those lava pits. Would you? As you say. The assembly is in session. Enter quietly if you wish to observe. Okay. You be Your quiet. Mind has gone Shh. Shh. Half our houses would go broke without the service trade. The proposal is only effective until we have a king to ensure we are respected by the surfacers. Leaving you conveniently positioned to take over all contracts. I'll see your head on a pike burn. Geshers, lords, leaders of the assembly. I've already doubled the guard to prevent violence. Must I summon more? Steward that more. Balin's sympathizers are tying our hands with trivialities. They may as well open us to the sky. I suggest we put the matter to a vote. And I suggest you have a taste of my family's mace. Enough. The assembly is in recess until the members can regain control of their emotions. Fair enough. Okay. What have I got to do now? Oh, so we actually have to pick someone. All right, let's go talk to the um, the shithead who cut someone in half. It'd be easy to sort if they just um. Where did you come from? <gasps> I think that's the. I heard there was a gray warden here. I am Doolin Forender, second to Lord Harrowmont. Endrin's own choice as successor. Word is spreading that the surface may suffer a blight. It is shameful we are not in a better position to help. That may be, and that is a terrible risk for the surface. But even if the world would end tomorrow, Lord Harriman cannot ignore Balin today. He cannot afford to trust anyone of unproven loyalty. That's a generous offer. You mean it. Might attend the proving today. The this is what he called the proving. And unfortunately, if Balin found some way to blackmail or intimidate House Harriman's best fighters into stepping down. I think that's the dude that comes on our team. That um dwarf right there. I'm just gonna grab my phone, two sex. certainly make your loyalties loud and clear. <laughs> and this is to be your king. One who cannot keep his own men from running like frightened children. Lord Harriman does not use threats or intimidation to motivate his men. He leads by example. Ah, I see. So, it's his example they follow as they cower from this Prince Balin. How dare you slander Lord Harriman? Why should we ally ourselves with someone too scared even to grant us an audience? Someone is out to get me, unless you've forgotten. Were I you, I would seek a stronger king than this Harriman. Sure, you don't mean Balin. Ooh, I need to talk to the others first. Um. Oh! Did I mention I finished um, Pokemon Scarlet last night? I freaking loved it. That ending. Oh my god. I think I shed some tears. Um. No, it's not them. Never mind. They look similar, but it's not him. I know, it was such a beautiful game. 
I'm just gonna agree with Severin for now. Uh, probably. I don't know who to choose, hey. It shouldn't be left up to me. I'm a nobody. Oh, sorry, Morrigan. You started talking after I clicked the door. But yeah, uh, the ending in Pokemon Scarlet was so good. Now I just have to fill in the Pokedex and I'm pretty much done. I know. To be honest, I find Amona too clingy. I pre um, and uh, I like Penny a bit more. Nimona's just too much. What's this do? Nothing, just makes noise. Can I go through? Oh, I can. What's through here? I think Arvin's the best out of all of them. It shall be done. Ooh, we can loot. What do you got? Fire arrows, no thanks. Yeah, 100%. As you say. From what I'd seen already, they definitely seem like a yandere. Above? Oh, they did. You got this. I don't need it. I don't need to help out for that bit. Yeah, hundred percent. Uh, I can't go through there. Never mind. That is a bookshelf, not a door. What's through here? I shall do it. Oh, this is the exit. Okay. Well, there was no one in there for us to talk to, so. No, that. Yeah, I liked Arvin the best out of the three in Pokemon Scarlet. His story made me cry the most. Especially when um, he first brings out my boss. My bast, my boss do? His dog. It kind of, I got kind of upset that they didn't give the dog a name though. Support Lord Haramont at your own peril. Darkspawn will overrun Orzammar within the year if he becomes king. Listen to all the propaganda. Who are you, Lady Dace? Oh, I don't know. I think I don't want to pick the other dude because they seem very brutal. But I don't know. It really shouldn't be up to me. I'm I'm not a dwarf. I may be a noble, but I've got nothing to do with this. This won't take long. Allow me. I could do that for you. She can do that. That's just a helmet, though. I'm good. Okay. I think we have to talk to Dolan. Dolan's following us around too much. Unless there's two Dolans. Are they twins with the same name? 
you have more time to talk now, Lord? Yeah. In an ordinary time, Lord Haramont would be honored to meet you. Unfortunately, we've already caught more than one of Balin's spies approaching Haramont under a pretense of friendship. So I'm afraid I won't be able to take your word. If you want to speak to Haramont, you will need to prove he can trust you. If you wish to show you have no loyalty to Balin, then work against him in Haramont's name. Balin is hosting a proving today, supposedly to honor his father's memory. The Deshers take it very seriously. And unfortunately, Balin found some way to blackmail or intimidate House Haramont's best fighters into stepping down. It would certainly make your loyalties loud and clear. Okay, Balin let's do that. Work with anyone who humiliated him in that way. Haramont would have no fear of meeting with you then. But I'm afraid your only choice is to wait until there's a win. Lord Haramont cannot risk his life looking for someone of unproven loyalty. Change your mind? Let me know. The proving is this afternoon, and Lord Haramont certainly use you on his side all right i think i'm gonna end here um my headache's gotten a bit worse so let us in i'm just gonna save and exit yeah i don't think i can look at my computer much longer thanks i should be back tomorrow don't worry missing <laughs> if you did enjoy my content please feel free to follow i do have a discord server it's in my about but i will see everyone on the next stream okay bye now